We have all seen the best ball handlers put on a show with their crazy handles, but the secret to their success isn't entirely their ability to dribble the ball, but their ability to get low to the ground. Staying low to the ground is so important because it protects the ball. The lower the basketball is dribbled to the ground, the more difficult it is to steal it. When dribbling the basketball, it is important that it never rises above the hip level. But in some situations, players need to keep the ball at the knee level and below. When dribbling at fast speeds and against aggressive defenders, it can be easy to bring the ball up high. But this exposes the basketball. The higher the ball is dribbled, the more time the ball will be in the air as it has to bounce off the ground and rise back to the hand. There are situations where the ball handler will have to dribble around multiple defenders or against aggressive defenders. When the ball is protected, it allows the player to operate in difficult situations and still make plays even when heavily guarded. Like watch here, Kyrie keeps the ball low to the ground on the drive and this allows him to get his body in front of the defender to cut him off and get to the rim. Or on this play, Kyrie is double teamed, but his ability to keep the ball low protects it from being stolen. And when he attacks the paint, he keeps it close to his body to split the defenders and get it into the paint for a floater. When it comes to staying low while dribbling the basketball, there is actually a proper technique. Staying low is not just entirely dribbling low to the ground. It's how the player positions their body to keep their dribble low while also being able to move their feet. To do this is actually best to drop the hips and bend the knees so the body is in a sitting position. And it is important to try and keep the chest up in this position. This may be difficult to master, but if a player becomes comfortable in this position, it allows the handle to become much more effective. When sitting in this position, the body is more centered and the chest is up, so the ball handler can read the floor. On top of this, it is easier to move the feet to react to the defender. As we can see in all these clips, these players end up in similar positions when dribbling the basketball. Now let's look at why it is so important to stay in this position. It allows the ball handler to effectively make moves. Whenever a move is made, if the ball is too high, it is going to be easy to steal the ball or for the ball handler to lose it. Which is why dropping the hips low to the ground allows the ball handler to make these moves while keeping the basketball low. This makes it much more difficult for a defender to steal it. Like watch here, as Kyrie gets the ball, he quickly drops his hips and makes a low crossover. Then he makes a low dribble to split the defense and get into the paint. And when they get low, it allows the ball handler to be much more shifty as well. Being shifty requires great footwork and getting angles on an opponent. When the hips are low, the legs can reach farther, allowing the player to plant their feet quickly and change direction. This allows their feet and legs to be in an explosive position so they can plant and go. If the hips are not low, it becomes much more difficult to quickly change directions and shift the defender. Like watch on this play, as Darius Garland drives, he starts to get cut off. So he quickly drops his hips low and plants his outer foot as he crosses over low to the ground to get by his defender and to the rim. Or on this play, he makes two quick low between the legs dribbles and then he uses a hezzy to hang in the air and he quickly plants his outer foot and pushes off of it to cross over low to the ground to shift his defender. The ability to do this requires the player to be able to go from high to low. Many players have trouble quickly dropping their hips to change from a high to low position, but the best ball handlers can do this easily and at any speed as well. Like watch here, Dame has the ball and as he makes a move, he quickly drops his hips low as he goes between the legs to blow by the defender. While going high to low is challenging to master, the ability to get low and stay low to the ground may be even more difficult to operate in. Majority of players after dropping low want to rise back up, and in some situations this is okay, but sometimes it is necessary to stay in that low position. When the first move doesn't work, staying low and making another combo can help the ball handler beat his man off the dribble. Like here, Kyrie uses a quick snatch back, but his defender stays in front, so Kyrie stays low to the ground and keeps attacking and is able to get into the paint for a shot. Another move might not always be necessary, but staying low will allow the dribbler to get an angle to get by the defender. Watch here, Kyrie makes a behind the back spin, but his defender stays in front of him. So he stays low to the ground and crosses between his legs to get by his defender. And lastly, staying low can allow players to split screens. Splitting screens can be a risky move, but can kill defenses if the opportunity is presented. The opportunity to split the screen opens up when there is a gap between the man guarding the ball handler and the big helping on a screen. Splitting the screen requires the ball handler to bring the ball low to the ground so it doesn't get stolen when dribbling between two defenders. This takes great skill but is deadly if it can be pulled off. It puts the defense at a disadvantage where there will be an open lane. Watch here as Dame uses the screen, there is a gap between the two defenders. Dame drops low to split the screen, which opens up a wide open lane for a layup. 
Being able to handle the basketball low to the ground is an important skill. It protects the basketball, but also will make any basketball player much more difficult to guard. It allows them to drop low to the ground to get better angles to get by their defender. The best players in the NBA all train relentlessly to perfect their game and find any way to beat the defense. Another one of these ways to do this is using the off arm. Players will use their off arm to hold off their defender or use it to get by their man. So if you would like to see how the off arm will allow you to get by any defender in basketball, click on this video right here.